Season two, get hey, out. We are back and ready. What better way to start this season than actually bridging generations together? That's right. Can you want to know about young. generation? Sorry, sorry. Okay. I cut you. You wanna say? Yeah. And go. We want to be young. Yeah. So what I want to know is that how was to. It. <laughs> that was what I made you repeat. Hey, your call, man. <laughs> okay. So, uh, Cathy, what do you know about generations? I just know that it changes every 10 years. Uh, and you are uh, into every 20 years ahead of you. That's right. Yeah, she's into all. You got the CPF. <gasps> And you're on a character. She Call wants me. You. So it began with the greatest generation ever, the 1900s. This generation survived tremendous hardships like growing up in World War One, the Great Depression, the Spanish flu pandemic, and fought in World War Two. Then we went to the Silent Generation. This generation grew up in the hardships of World War Two and were the most traditionalist generation, silenced by being the backbone of nation building. Most were hard laborers working in industrialized society. That generation was basically silenced. <laughs> they were cancelled before <laughs> cancel culture. Uh, Not by choice. Not by choice, but by a lot. <laughs> <laughs> and then after the silent generation, Kathy is the Boomer generation. generation. This was the generation birthed from World War II. They had nothing to do, so people just give birth. Because last time no TV. Ah, that's why boom. Yeah, so they uh, and then after this, there were so many that generation called boom. Okay. Because boom! Boom! <laughs> boom! After the boomer generation, what do you think is the next generation? Generation oh, X! Correct! Why do you think they call Generation X, Kathy? Uh, because they are going to be the ones to cancel you in the future. So X. X you. No! <laughs> they were called Generation X because that generation was like an experiment. They didn't know what that generation was gonna be, so they named it like. Oh, let's just call it X, you know, like algebra. X. Ah, like ah, X, Y, Z, like mystery, X. Oh, Generation okay. X. And that generation proved to be different from the boomers. They were into a bit more of a rock star lifestyle, mm -hmm. drugs, sex, rock and roll. Mm, long kinda. hair. Yes. Uh. After that was the... Millennials. That is us. us. That's right. We, the millennials, we were a conceited generation. Mm. We were raised by the boomers that told us we were special. We are me, 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 me. You can't spell mm. millennial without... Me. Or millennial. After millennials is the... Gen Z. And these Gen Zs are the young 20-somethings now to the teenagers of today. They were the first generation raised already with internet. Exactly. We were the sandwich that we got to see the world without and the world with. Yep. Some of the studies of Gen Zs is also it's the most depressed generation uh, of mm. all the generations. Oh. Yeah. I, I like to think also because imagine living in a world, right, where your social media identity is a huge part of also who you are then mm. like you, you, you don't have a separate understanding of your personness behind that internet persona. It's become merged. Yeah. Are they yeah. still experimental? Cause Z? So what was supposed to happen was millennials were supposed to be called Gen Y. Ah, yes. But we're not basic. We're like, we want our own labels. But I guess the Gen Z's are basic and they're okay. They went back to it. Oh, right. Right, Shanice? Right, you're basic, right? Yeah. <laughs> There's only one way to talk about generations is to invite that generation itself. Yes. With us, we have the mother of Gen Z's. The real Amina mix upper, no need to dye hair, already dyed. A noodles frenemy. And she will sell you her elephant pants. We have with us Miss Shanice Lotte. Thank you for inviting me, my sisters. Can I have space? Make yes. yourself a space, yes. yeah. Make yourself, I have to so much to do for you or what? Hi, Hi Shanice. Shanice. Hi. So just now, before this cut, you said Ryan was small. Um, yeah. You disagree? Tell me when. Keep going. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that one's not Daddy Wolf, that one's Granddaddy Wolf already. Oh, Granddaddy Wolf. Daddy, oh. Granddaddy Wolf. Eh, that's and I'll the... give birth to the Sun Wolf. <laughs> and then we'll have to Wolf. Baby Wolf. The <laughs> <laughs> wolf. Baby Wolf. <laughs> no, it's only Wolf, then the babies are all elves. Why? I'm just weird. <laughs> Shanice, welcome to Epimina, the podcast series. Would you like to introduce yourself a bit? Hi guys, my name is Shanice. Um, they call me Shasha by the streets. Uh. Also, the shit. But I'm 23 this year. I do content creation. Okay. Uh, I specialize in Mina, Mina shows. 
So basically, I say you're coming for our gigs. Okay, no tech away. Okay. But by the way, do you like do you like our looks this season? Very sexy. It's very yeah. Gen Z. It's, ah, it's actually sure. Y2K fashion. Now, no, my thing is with Gen Z, is right? Y'all cannot come up with your own creative thing or everything also must reference the past. No, but the thing is, when they take things from the past, then they say it's their style. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that correct? Style. No, must but credit. We like to make what? things our own, what? Yeah, lah, but must always credit if not get into trouble on TikTok. And then your generation yeah. never. Yeah. Hey, we always uh, credit APA reference, okay? Always. Oh, so, uh, the APA citation. Oh, oh. oh. <laughs> Mina Mina school. School. I I ada diploma at least. Uh, at least I mean, okay. today when when I wanted to come up with this look, I actually give a photo of you. Oh. But see, at least I credit you. I guess you didn't do me justice. Uh. <laughs> oh. Janice, mm. so we want to know actually, we have so many thoughts and feelings about the Gen Z, but we want to know, mm. what are your thoughts and feelings about us millennials? Hmm, I think some millennials try too hard to be Gen Z. Like in terms of social media, having like Janice. TikTok accounts and all that. Janice, yeah? your mouth is uh, moving a lot like a rat. Yappa, 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 yappa. Shut it, please. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hey, I don't hold want on. to be you, right? Social, social media. We burn social media. We walk so you we can see. We came up with a transition. Me. Last time, we don't even have a transition. This, our by the way, is not use, a transition okay? game. Uh, this is called a hot cut. Come yeah. on, yeah. What are your thoughts on the Gen Zs? Uh, mm. Firstly, I guess, I just want to ask, what is your problem? <laughs> What is your problem? <laughs> My favorite thing about Gen Zs is how much more relaxed they are than the millennials. I think millennials were uptight. You think so? We were uptight. We were like, oh my god, we need to have ambitions, we need to have a career. But Gen Zs like, no, I'd like. Gen Zs are like Malay people who became a generation. <laughs> That's really offensive. Why do you think but, it was offensive? Why do you think being relaxed as a Malay community is true, offensive? It's, it's true. Yeah. more about you, you know? We aspire to be laid back. Yeah. That's true. That's true. But because you're not a person, ah. What's so blue way muka? Pam kau. Ketak. Eh, eh. <laughs> Depends on the person though, right? Yeah. Their Gen Z's who are more hardworking, their Gen Z's who are more lazy. Just no. like millennials who are I'm not saying that you are okay, not okay. hardworking, but you are kinder to yourself. Or oh, kinder. Like, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You ourselves in achievements. You yeah, know? we were high strung as yeah, a generation. Yeah, yeah. Because last time, maybe it was more competitive. There's no means to like be more successful. And compared yeah. to now, like now there's more. Because you know I, why? The predecessors before us were the Gen X. And yeah. like, they, they set beauty standards to be white, fair skin, skinny. Yeah. And so we thought like we must apply that to the internet and then when the internet became mass market we were like oh my god this is the standard of beauty yeah and, and eventually the, we yeah. shaped it to be more diverse yeah yeah yeah, yeah. That's true. now we got a fun game for you you ready very ready welcome to the segment i like to call gen z versus a millennial because i am not creative with titles <laughs> no you must do the dun, 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 dun. okay ready okay. It is your first blind date with someone that your friend set up. You don't know how he looks like and you don't want to spend two hours on a date with someone you don't like, mm. right? Who wants to do that? Who wants to spend time with Ryan? <laughs> you. How do you find out how he looks before meeting him? First, you must get the name so we can do some social media investigation. Okay. I will actually turn up to the venue, hmm. linger around the entrance, and then try to see who looks like they are waiting for someone. Mm. Yeah. Also, during that time, we were telling what color we were wear. Mm. I don't know what. Uh, why you already can send photo? What? Why you must tell you what color Mysterious to wear? Mysterious a bit lah. Still must find, you know. You Tadi cannot misi. spell mystery without history. Eh, eh? gitu. Eh, tiba. Eh. 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 Okay, okay. That's, that's, that's is that's like for fun lah. Yeah, for fun. Ours for is us really. Is for identifier. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay lah. Yeah. I'm wearing this. Even when I meet my carousel buyer, I will tell them now. Like I'm wearing this. <laughs> I'm wearing lingerie. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Let's go play. I am the carousel. Okay, 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 okay. Hey, ah, uh, I'm also here. <laughs> What's this? In white lingerie at pickup. Send a photo for confirmation of your outfit. <laughs> Send. Must take the lips on. Nice. Uh, ciao. Eh? Oh. Hey, I guess I must learn from the millennials. Hey, no, 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 no,
Unfortunately, being Gen Z, we have to be more sensitive. I see, I see, I see. We have no choice. Otherwise, they will cancel us. Ah. Oh. But why are you scared of the cancellation? Who's going to do the work? And who's going to answer to the client? Me, but I'm the boss, right? So you will do the work? Me and my staff. What happens if everyone take mental health day? And then you miss the deadline. I just quit my job and go home. Ah, then like the problem in this economy is not run right on kindness and mental health. You know this economy is run right on work also. Ah, okay. Are you okay, but honestly, like I, I feel like people have to be a bit more sensitive, sensitive yeah. and Correct. empathetic because sometimes if you want to push the person when they are not in the right mental state also Correct. there's no productivity right i feel like the thing is like with the mental health discussion right because we came from a timeline that that kind of discussion didn't okay, exist yeah. yeah it is so good where we are at now and we must navigate it correctly to the point where it doesn't become abused yeah and yes. i think people can abuse system so easily so i think Open communication is always important. Yeah. You must have an open communication with your higher ups and say, look, this is this is where I'm at right now. Uh, and you must also have a solution also. You must be a responsible fellow co-worker and say like, yeah. can my fellow khakis help me out at this point of time? Mm -hmm. uh, and if it's something that I need a total break from, you must be open. A business still needs to run, a business still needs to yeah. operate. There must be a nice fine middle to discuss this. How do you think uh, the workforce can help in Incorporate mental health a little better. Talk about it openly and to make it a safe space for people who are mm. coming to work mm. to know that in the event they have they have like mental health issues or whatever, they can safely report to their higher ups. What happens so, if you have a personality that doesn't like to communicate or is an introvert? Mm. How can you communicate your and mental health? Maybe you should have a counselor in the workplace who can treat people one-to-one, mm. -one, mm. who is on standby whenever someone is feeling a bit more down or depressed. If you had a stress day, need to get away. Do you wanna make it right now? If you had a bad day, need to get away. Do you wanna make it right now? If you need a professional to make a confessional, a voice to make things right now. Here's a one-stop solution. A happy conclusion. No need for seclusion with a caring human. So if you had a day, here's a good show away. You wanna get right now? Care. Right Now Care is your one-stop app for online therapy made affordable, accessible and adaptable. At just $15 a week, you can access a professional counsellor from anywhere at any point of the day. Handled by certified local professional counsellors, counselling is conducted at your comfort level either via text, voice messages, video calls, audio calls and even live chats. Use this promo code for 50% off for two months. You got any yeah. sorry of friends who abuse mental health day? No? You, you, honestly, like, honestly tell us. No lah, no lah. Got people who are the king and then say, hey, actually, I want to do mental health day. <laughs> no lah, don't have. Don't bluff. Don't have. You? you? Sure? Maybe you have. Of course lah, uh, but yeah. for me, I don't take mental health day. I just take MC. Yeah, I just take MC. <laughs> <laughs> so, There's no need to label the break. That's the next thing you I want to say. Okay? If you want the mental health, then go get an MC also lah. But actually, so, that's what some articles are saying. Yeah. That maybe don't put it as a mental health day because sometimes the managers might not understand it. So just say that, okay, you don't feel well, mm. you don't feel up for it, you need to take MC. I, I, I agree and disagree. I think you can label it as a mental health day, but it must also come with proper paperwork. So HR can keep track. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? Like you can just go to a doctor and say, I'm not feeling mentally well today. I think sometimes the question is like, because mental health day is not accountable for with paperwork, yeah. Yeah. how do we yeah. navigate yeah. that? You are traveling to a place that speaks a language that you don't understand and your phone just ran out of battery. Oh, yeah. How do you get directions back to your hotel? Honestly, sign languages with like the, the locals there will be good. Enough. You sure? You sure? Where to go? Left hotel. Eh, alamak, actually hey, TikTok lah you all. Scenario, scenario. I'm the local, you're asking me for the... Call, okay. Ah, uh, Thailand lah kak. Sawadee kak. Do you know the place to go home, the hotel? Why you Hong Kong? This Thai girl. Sawadee kak. Meet her, I want to go back hotel na. Hotel, hotel go sleep. Red light the street. You, <laughs> you me. Sleep. No, no, no sleep. I... Tour it, tour it, go hotel. Why is it when we, we travel overseas and we try to speak English to the person who doesn't speak English, we speak in the accent? Oh. To make it more relatable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Code <laughs> switch ah. They want to be part of the culture. This is a pro tip from my... Is my dad boomer or Gen X ah? 
Your dad would be a boomer. Uh, this is pro tip from. <laughs> yeah, that's a boomer. Uh, this is pro tip from my boomer dad. Okay, every time you check into a place, right, you make sure you get their card or like something that has their address. Then you carry it with you. So oh. if you get lost, then you just show like taxi or someone. A branded client wants to pay good money for you to dance to My Pony by Genuine <laughs> with your father on TikTok. Ooh. Would you do it and why? How much? <laughs> How much is your price? You don't out your price, ah. Uh. Fifty dollars. <laughs> <$50. laughs> <$50. laughs> <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Not grind on your father, right? Just dance with him. Yeah, that, but uh, then the music will play, you know. Okay, lah, two k. Two k. No, we are not telling you to give a quote, girl. So yeah, this just whether <laughs> yes, you will do it. And this is not your business. Yeah, you do it. Just asking or quoting you. No, not to pitch. Just tell us the reason. The question was, the question would you do, you do it? Why? Yes. <laughs> okay, and why? Why? Why not? Okay. Your father will understand, lah. <laughs> your father will understand. Yeah. Yeah. Not our fathers. No. Not the millennials. Realistically, <laughs> oh, yeah. I will say no. To not the client. at all. I'm sorry. No matter how much you put in, no. Okay, client gives you one million. How to say no? Okay, then I will have to explain to my father. Look, you were never proud of this line of work that I chose. <laughs> but I need this one favor from you, and you will finally understand why I'm doing this. This oh, will help oh, us yes, a lot. Like, yes. Do you want me to succeed? And on that note, we wrap this episode <laughs> of Gen Z versus Millennials. Thank you so much, Shanice, Thank for you. understanding and and uh, reliving some people's Thank trauma. You so Next episode on Epic Minas, the podcast series. I feel like I don't want to admit that I am an SPG. Even the Malaysian you did was half white. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, how you smell like a fresh baguette early in the morning in my mouth. <laughs> Have you dated smelly girls before? Yeah, they actually do not let go. Man, she you don't know watch this, man. She didn't know what to do, man. Well, I'm a people pleaser. Oh. So. Are you a Libra? No, I'm a Sagittarius. <gasps>